Okay. Good morning, everyone. This beautiful spring day, sit on the saddle of your horse and let everything go. Any tension, any worry, any frustration, any health issues, any financial issues. I'm sure they'll all be waiting for you after class. But right now, let them go. Don't hold on to them. Let them go out of your mind, out of your body. Modify as you need to. Do whatever works for you so that your chi can flow. So we really want to let go of anything that obstructs our healing. Anything that gets in our way, we want to release right now. Soften the knees, feel the feet rooted to the earth, and give yourselves a pat on the back for joining today, joining your classmates, joining me, just letting it go. Anything does not serve, and here we are. Really give yourself a pat on the back. You all deserve it. All of you lovely ladies, we all deserve a pat on the back. And if something doesn't feel right, modify it, please. And then let the motion subside. And then notice your breathing. You may feel a little more life force in the fingers and the toes. You're breathing a little fuller. Sit on the saddle of your horse and gather a basket of unconditional love. The shoulders are down, shoulder blades are kissing, palms are open. And bring one palm forward, the back, we look at the front palm, as the back palm is giving chi to the front palm. The hips stay straight, but the shoulders are twisting, so you're going to feel the spine opening. Come center. Keep looking forward as the back hand gives good chi to the front hand. Keep looking forward. We're not looking behind. And then we're going to release the basket, pick it up on the other side, release our song. Love is something if you give it away, give it away, give it away. Love is something. Then if you give it away, it comes right back to you. And stand for a moment, see if you feel a little more vibrant, a little more alive. Step back on one foot, sink down, knee is bent, and we gather you from the earth and create a beautiful rainbow behind you, rotating from the ankle, from the hip, the shoulder, out the fingertips. Visualize a beautiful rainbow you are painting in the sky. And come upright and see if you feel a little more balanced. No, you're not going to feel balanced because we've only done one side. So step back on the other side, sink down, and gather the chi, and again, paint the rainbow to the other direction. Looking into the palms, streaming the colors out of the fingertips, all the colors of the rainbow, like all the colors of the flowers in my garden, a beautiful assortment of rainbow colors in my garden. And come upright and see if you feel a little more balanced. Now, soften the knees and the ankles and the groin at the quad, thumb over middle finger like a kitten. Wipe the whiskers and groom from behind. Let yourself curl like a kitty cat. And then open your heart to the heaven. Grounding and arching. Really look at the earth and look at the heaven. And then come upright and feel the shoulder blades kissing. Now take two knuckles, one knuckle in front of the other, and we're going to hug the inner thighs, really let the inner thighs hug together and release. Breathe out as you hug and release. Really activate the kidney, liver, spleen channels, the inner legs, and then change knuckles, breathing out as you gently press and breathe in to relax. And then slowly come upright. Now we're going to lift the fingers and toes, twinkle toes. We have 20 channels as we have 20 fingers and toes. And we're just letting the energy bubble up from the earth and visualize it as twinkling stars above. Visualize somebody up there who's smiling upon you right now from above. And relax for a moment and see if you feel more energy in the hands and feet after twinkling. Beautiful. And now soften the knees 
And we're going to visualize root energy rising from Mother Earth through the hands and feet, perineum, and send it back. Like a thirsty tree with roots the depth of our height, we're gonna draw up that root energy as you bring it in, feel the inner thighs hug as you do that, breathe out as you send the roots back to the earth. Breathing in sustenance. And sink down and now allow the energy to rise from the roots through the trunk to the top of the tree. And on the breath out, your tree blossoms, the beautiful fruit trees and bloom. We're going to breathe in as energy rises from the earth through the body up to the heaven. And breathe out as you relax back. Down again. And notice how your whole body is filled with that life energy. Now we're going to reverse arms. Go out and up. Relax the shoulders and come up towards the heaven. And visualize beyond the ceiling, beyond the blue sky, beyond the sun, the moon, and the stars. Is infinite energy is pure healing light that will slowly pour into every cell of your body. As the hands come down and illuminates that part of the body. Dissolving tension, dissolving blockage, dissolving dis-ease and diseases out of our body, down the legs and into the earth and roots below. And again, the arms float out and up, shoulders stay down. And as we connect to the infinite source of life of the universe, as you pour it into your own body, visualize all of your loved ones receiving and all of your classmates. Together, we are all receiving healing light. Golden healing light. Transforming all negative into positive healing energy. Your own breath rhythm as the hands come all the way down into the earth and roots below. And one more time as the arms float out and up and as we pour healing light into our own body, as the hands come down, visualize it being poured into all beings on this planet. Everything that breathes receives this healing light, this golden sunlight. Unconditional love, bring the hands down over the areas that need it the most. Take your extra breath. Sending the light there. And as we stand in grace, the inner thighs hug, shoulder blades kiss, feel the inner smile. Notice the breath of life flowing through you. You're all looking so good. Now bring the feet together. Middle finger at the small, the back at the knee, men. Inner thighs hug and allow your tree to dance in the breeze. So our feet are rooted. If you need them a little further apart for balance, do so. And then massage up and down along the spine and back and forth along the waist. Feel the inner thighs hug as you go the other direction. Really allow the fluidity of the upper body to move. And come center, right palm over the heart, the other palm over that, you smile into your heart. The smiling has such a positive effect on our organs as we smile into our heart, filling them with love and joy. Now open your feet, shoulder hip with distance. And as the hands are on the hips, as you come on the ball of the foot, you're going to feel where the hip goes in the socket up one tiao. Say with me, one tiao. And the other side. So we're going into our one tiaos. Now take lao gan, say lao gan. And put lao gan over one tiao. And soften the knees and let's go to Hawaii. So as our feet are rooted, the rest of the body moves freely. In fact, when the hips are back, put weight on the hips, on the heels, weight forward, weight on the toes. 
hips to the side, way down the side foot. So everything is fluid moving through the body as you massage the feet. Every joint from the feet all the way up to the neck and shoulders and jaw is totally released. Then drop the tail massage again. You're allowed on over one tiao and then bring it to the tail. And come upright, palms face the earth, and we're going to rock the weight forward on the ball of the foot and on the toe, on the fingers as you lift the heels, and come back to the heels as you lift the toes. We're just going to do a little rocking horse on our feet slowly, as we have 200,000 receptors in each foot, and we're just waking them up, finding our balance from heel to toe, and then find the middle. So you really feel well balanced between the front and back. And now you're gonna roll on the outside a bit and on the inside. Be gentle with yourself. And then find the middle. So you're totally balanced between in and out and forward and back. Now keep the roots sinking to the earth. Now remember when the feet are totally balanced like this, it allows the bubbling spring to receive energy from the earth. It's like a pump. It is a pump. It's bringing more chi through the earth, through the legs, back to your heart, helping to pump. It's an extra pump for our heart when we're totally balanced. So soften the knees and allow root energy to rise from the roots through the trunk all the way up. Just again, just let it rise all the way up. And sink down and place Lao Gun over one chi out and go the other direction. So our feet are totally Connected, allowing that bubbling spring energy to rise from the earth through the legs into every joint and every cell of your body. Let everything be fluid, that the feet are totally stable. Then drop the tail and massage where you need it the most. Certainly know where I need it. So give chi where you need it. This is very personal. And standing grace, hug his smile and see if you feel a little more alive and a little more relaxed in the body. Now we're gonna bring our feet together. If you're able to put the middle finger in the navel and bring it in and up as you lift the core and breathe in the belly. So we're not holding our breath, but the belly is in and up. And then bend the knees with the flat back, hands on the thighs. So there's no weight in the knees because I'm lifting the core and I'm going to circle my knees to the right. Keep breathing, supporting the knees, waking up the ankles. Then massage the knees, loving energy to the knees and go the other direction. And massage the knees, and I'm gonna lift the heels if you can, a quarter of an inch. Come on, yung chin, the bottom of the foot, and circle to the right. On um, yung chin and back to the heel. Then your lag on palms on one tail, go down the outside. Hands on the knees, lift the heels, go the other side. Then open your feet, shoulder, hip with distance. Draw good shift the inside, the inside of the body. Soften the knees and roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. Feel the feet rooted, the tail rooted, the core lifted, inner thighs hug, shoulder blades kiss. Feel the inner smile. Lovely. You're looking so good. Now, we're going to allow energy to rise from the roots using the mind to guide the chi to the lower belly, lower dantian. And our hands create a triangle, thumbs two inches apart, index finger one inch apart. And then we come to the heart center, smiling. To the third eye, smiling. To the crown of Baikwe. Interlace fingers and turn the palms over as you stretch up as far as you can. I'm gonna tilt this up so I can see my hands on the screen. We're going to stretch up as high as you can, and we're going to bend the knees and at the quad, bring the hips forward as you stretch back to the hip. 
Knees stay bent as you come upright. So I'm just tilting the hips forward, allowing the upper body to look towards the heaven. Good, now we go to one side, eyes okay, and release fingers as you breathe out four times. Come center, we'll go the other side. And come center. And we're going to unzip the zipper. We're going to release any stagnant energy out of the body, going down and out. Really feel like you're releasing outward, spring cleaning. I'm standing, raise high, kiss, smile. Feel more chi in the body. And now using your mind, we're going to face the earth. The hands will draw chi up the outside of one leg. Push out, stay upright, send the chi to the earth. Let the chi rise, coming outside the other foot. Center and up. Now bend the knees with a flat back. Again, palms face the earth, spine is long. The hands draw chi up outside the right heel. Draw chi up outside the left heel. Slide in the middle and let the head go down as you roll the body back up. Nice. Now you're going to roll down. Head goes down, shoulders down. Lift the belly and go down where you can. The hands draw chi up outside the right heel. Draw chi up outside the left heel. Slide in the middle, bend the knees, roll it up. Building back into grace, like his smile. Now activate the core and barely bend. Feel the chi as we're barely bending forward. Lift the chi up outside of the right heel. Draw chi up outside the left heel. Slide in the middle, come upright. And now go beyond the barely bend, take your bend for the day and enjoy. And draw chi up outside the right heel. Draw chi up outside the left heel. Slide in the middle and circle the arms down and out, releasing stagnant energy out of the body. Hold on the elbows, start the elbows down and out. You're allowing palms and one chest slapping down towards the ankle. And brush it down. And bend the knees and roll out. Feel the feet rooted, the tail rooted. Slowly come up, standing in grace. Slowly, slowly, slowly hug his smile. And just notice how you feel. Lovely. Take a little wider stance and sit back on the saddle of your horse and put all the weight onto one foot and allow. Because the weight is evenly distributed on that foot, allow the bubbling spring to receive the chi up through the leg into the dantian and let it sink to the other foot. So we're creating a rainbow from one foot. Bubbling spring rises up to the lower dantian and to the other foot. Now, I stay the same height. I'm not bending and straightening my legs, but I feel the chi rising within and then the sinking back to the earth. Relaxed breathing as it rises from the earth to the belly, down to the other foot, like a beautiful rainbow between your thighs. Remember to practice this daily as it strengthens the bones and muscles, helps to slow down and prevent osteoporosis, giving you more chi as you relax your mind. Practice it while you're cooking, waiting for something to boil, Whatever it is, just let yourself relax and be present with the breath and feel the bubbling spring energy rise from the earth 
through the leg into the belly and over to the other side, planting back to the earth. Now with all the weight onto my left foot, I'm going to take my right heel out, lift the core and from, um, go over the left thigh. So my right leg is stretched. Then go over the right leg and warm it up as you relax the spine. Hands over the right thigh, elongate the spine, so your nose is over your second toe. Index finger sinks to the earth. Thumb index middle finger, 10 fingers sink. Now if you're flexible enough, attach between the ball of your toe a little toe juice. So if not, visualize chin to toe. Then give love pass from one heel down. Right hand goes down the outside, left hand up the inside, the inside. Bring the foot back parallel, feel the rooted legs, lower the tail, lift the core, and as you come up, you're gonna feel lopsided because one side's more stretched than the other. So sit back on the saddle, all the way down the back leg, other heel, no weight, lift the core, go over the bent leg with the long spine, and feel your left leg stretch, calf muscle, hamstring. Then face that left leg with the long spine and warm up. The leg you should relax the spine. Hands over the left leg, elongate the spine again, nose over second toe. Index finger sink to the earth like roots of a tree. Thumb index middle finger. Ten fingers. And as you look between the first and second toe, if you're flexible enough, touch, if not visualize, chin sinking to toe. Breathing into it, don't overstretch. And then get love pats. Bunch your down. Left hand goes down the outside, right hand up the inside, the inside, brushing, whisking. And come back parallel, bend the knees, feel the feet rooted, tail rooted. Lift the core, slowly come all the way up, standing in grace like his smile. And notice how you feel. Hopefully a little more relaxed and longer and energized. Now bring your middle finger if you can, touching the kidneys, that means men. Soften both knees, all the way goes on the left foot. I drag my right toe in and feel the inner thighs hiking each other. Looking at a point in the distance, I'm gonna lift that leg up. I'm looking at the green light in my computer. And come down, step out. Draw the other leg in and bring it up. You're, you're welcome to hold on to something for balance here. As we go the other side, we're going to go across the body. And step out. And then we boot out your system, any tension, anything that's negative out of the body, shake it out, any worries, frustrations. Let the shoulder blades kiss so you're very upright when you do this. And go higher. And then point the toe, going across the body, starting low, activating the lymph nodes. And go higher. And standing grace, I can smile. Feel more chi flow in your body. Lovely. So as we sit on the saddle of our horse, we're in a circle. There are 10 of us today. We're going to visualize root energy rising from the roots into the lower down hand, smiling. Bring it up to the heart, filling your heart with unconditional love and joy, and open to the beautiful flock of 10 geese all around you. We're all 10 feet apart. Soften the knees, soften the shoulders, soften the elbows. The third finger connects energetically the pericardium, the heart protector. And feel your open heart pulsating with the loving beat of those around you. And visualize a beautiful circle of healing light in front of you. 
If there's someone you're caring about, imagine they're in the middle receiving unconditional love and healing light. Relax and breathe with them. Now visualize yourself standing in the middle, basking and receiving. Then gather it in for yourself. Hug it up. And then open your heart again. Now all 10 fingers connect, all 10 toes connect, 20 channels, soften the elbows, soften the knees. Symbolically, we connect to all life force and all living beings. Feeling pure gratitude for all the blessings in our life. For bringing us here together today. And we send healing blessings to all those in need on this planet. And gather she back to yourself. Give yourself a great big hug. And then we're going to clap from behind and give love pats to the shoulders. And stand in grace, hug his smile, and see if there's more buzzing chi through your body. Now take your right arm, you're gonna wrap it around the neck. Left elbow hooks, right elbow to the left side. Head turns to the right, and right hand tries to touch right ear, left hand faces left ear. Lower the tail, lift the core, and rotate your eyes upward towards the full moon or a new moon. Breathe into the stretch, and then release, push back. Then take your left arm, let it wrap around the neck, right elbow hooks it to the right side, head turns to the left as left hand touches left here, right hand, lower the tail, lift the core, look over the left shoulder, breathe into the stretch. And push back. Okay, let's lunge on the left foot, hips face the left, and we're gonna bend that right elbow and circle. So we're gonna get a big circulation in the shoulder. Lower the arm, lengthen it. So the shoulder stays down, but the arm is lengthened as we circle around. And reverse, bend the elbow, shoulder up to the ear, circling. Lengthen the arm down and slice down. Then your left toe turns in, pivot on the heel, the right toe turns out, lunging. Bend that left elbow, circle the shoulder. Lengthen the arm down, shoulder stays down as you circle slower, opening the chest. And reverse, bend the elbow, shoulder up to the ear, really feel that you're loosening up any tension that's held there. Lengthen the arm down, slice down. And both arms are going to flip flop to the right and the left, to the shoulders and the kidneys. Release, pivot on your right heel, toe in, pivot on the left heel, turn out. And again, flip flop. And step back and see if you feel more chi flow in your body. Mm, you are looking good. Lovely. Now will be the time that we'll be doing um, the points. So I'll come closer so that you can see what's going on. If you want to sit down, you are welcome. If you want to drink something, go for it. So we're going to brush away toxic energy from the tips of the fingers over the tops of, through the webbing, over the top and ironing your wrist straight. So it's about 
releasing stagnant energy that caught, gets caught and stagnation causes discomfort and dis-ease and diseases. So we're trying to release any of that. Go the other side, tips, tops, webbing, flatten that wrist, iron it out. Look at what you're doing. Okay, then the center of the palm, Laogon, say with me, Laogon. We press into Laogon and gently release. This is on the heart protector. To help calm the mind and regulate your heart. And the other side, Laogon, the center of the palm, say Laogon. Now, the fleshy point between the thumb and index finger is Hegu. Say Hegu. Hegu is on the large intestine meridian. It's good for headaches, toothaches, constipation, dehydration. Following your own breath rhythm and the other Hegu. Press, breathe in and on your breath out, release. And then three finger scalps on her. You go below the wrist line. One, two, three, where the third finger is. Put the thumb, neg one. Say neg one. And then gently press, breathe in and release on the breath out. And neg one is for digestive, but when you're feeling queasy and uneasy. And the other side, three fingers now going Focus, even though the thumb's on the inside, the middle finger is on the outer point, Wagwan. Say Wagwan. Wagwan is on the triple energizer. It's like a thermostat in your body, help to regulate. Okay, now your right arm is bent. The left thumb follows the right thumb all the way to the crease of the elbow to cheese it. Say cheese it on the lung meridian. And then go beyond the tendon in front of the elbow bone to a probiotic point on the large intestine meridian, bringing more flora into your gut. And the other side, follow the thumb to the crease. That's your cheesy. and beyond the tendon to the probiotic point. Okay, take your index finger to the U at the collar, that little bony U area. Thumb goes to the end of the collar bone. Then we divide each bone in half. It should be directly over the nipple. Index finger hooks on top at chwepin, say chwepin. Thumb hooks below with chihu, say chihu. As we open up the chi door, open up your little gosling wings. This is good for cough, asthma, sore throat, and hiccups. And reverse. Relax for a moment, notice the breath. Lovely. Let's do our knee points. A right angle over the kneecap. Now I tilt my right angle in so that the middle finger touches the shin. From that area, then I go out one inch. And where that finger is, is Sanyin Jiao on the stomach meridian. Good for digestive problems. So if you can do both at once, so it's two hands. So we first, the thumb on top with the right angle, then you tilt in to find the shin bone and then just go back to the right angle, 90 degrees down, pointing down and get your cheesy, not cheesy, san yin jiao. No, yes. 
So this is my aid. Whenever I eat something I shouldn't, I slide my hand under the table and I come here. Good for stomach cramps. And when you eat, ate something wrong, you can help yourself right away. Much better than taking Tums. Much, much safer for your body too. Okay, the next point is three fingers above the um, ankle bone. It's like scalp sauna. Thumb goes above that one till you find your owl. Once you find your owl, don't drill for oil, just give it love. This is Sanyin Jiao. Where kidney, liver, spleen come together, joining. Kidneys are in charge of the muscle health, of uh, your bone health. Um, spleen is in charge of your muscle health and liver is in charge of your blood health. So this is good for blood, bones, and muscles. And it's also the point when we reach for the full moon and we gather the chi to that point and then move on when we do the turnaround. So now we'll do the other side. So find that ankle bone, three fingers. Thumb goes above that to find the owl and give it love. And so when we go to the full moon, which we'll be learning in probably a month or so, we gather the chi down to that point and move on. Now, the next point um, is at the bottom of the foot, yong chen. So my thumb comes in between the ball, uh, between the big toe and the second toe on the foot. And then my middle finger below is at yong chen, first point on the kidney meridian. and then massage the other side. So on top is, kid, is liver, on the bottom is kidney. So it's a kidney liver sandwich. Okay, now I'm gonna put my left foot out, take my right hand, create a claw at Schweppen. My right, left foot out, left hand. My right hand gives chi to the left foot, right foot, out to the side, comes all the way up. And then my right hand shines a light on the left foot, but I'm gonna bring it to the knee if you're new. That right now, see if you can actually touch the foot while you're seated. If not, don't worry about it. And then here you flap your wings, push the forefoot three times or circle. Left elbow goes back, right elbow goes forward three times, this creates the macrocosmic orbit. Then you put that toe down, and as your right hand pushes the chi to the side, open your left heel wider. Then you bring it back to scoop chi center, and you're gonna create a claw, scooping chi up, create a claw to right schweppen. And left hand goes down, gives chi to the right foot, the left foot, comes all the way up, creating a great big circle. There's a light in the left hand shining upon the right foot. And then I bring it either to the knee or to the foot if you can, thumb over the, um, between the first and second toe. And then my right elbow goes back and my left elbow goes forward or just flap. If you're new, just flap the wings up and down. Then I pivot on the left heel, toe goes forward. I'm gonna push the chi out one foot far. Turn the hand back, scooping good chi, create the um, create a claw with the left hand. Um, let's just close right here for a moment. Gather chi to the hair chi height and to bring the chi that we've collected down from the upper dantian to relax the mind. To the middle dantian, to the heart. To the lower dantian, smiling. And then rest the hands on the thighs and notice the breath. Okay. Um, some more points. Uh, I may have to stop for a moment. Uh, place the hands on the lower belly and smile and breathe for um, at least 10 slow breaths into the belly and I'll be back.
Thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay, I'm back. I hope you feel a little more relaxed. Do you feel a little more relaxed when you breathe into the lower belly, lower dantian? So I just had a delivery I had to attend to. <laughs> okay, uh, so now the next point, yin tang at the third eye. Say yin tang, and then come to the temple area and rub it out. Yin tang. The other point is Taiyang. From Yin Tang to Taiyang. Then the inner corner of the eye, Jing Ming. Massage this point and go under the eyes, wash away any tears. Right eye point, Jing Ming. The next point out of the corner of the nose, Yin Xiang, say Yin Xiang. Welcome fragrance point massage here and then go under the cheekbone, create a great big clown smile. And then two fingers and belt and blow the lips, go back and forth. And on the other side, it's like brushing your teeth on the outside. Then pinch, release any tension you may hold. Just get up in there, releasing. Then index finger under the jaw, under the ear, middle finger over the jaw, ear where you feel the jaw, and you're going to make faces at Halloween, loosen up the jaw. And then massage the ears. in the inner crevices. And then two fingers like peace, we're gonna fluff up good chi, fluffing up. And then shaking out toxic negative energy out of the body. And gather chi under the chin and slowly wash the face, comb hair energetically seven times. The first three times, if there's any negative energy you need to release, clear the waters, clear the chi before you continue. And then four continuous protective halos. And go all the way down, trickling down. Gather all that healing chi. Pure golden light. Then rest the hands on the thighs and take six more slow breaths into the lower belly.
and then softly open your eyes. So six slow breaths is a mini meditation that helps rejuvenate and refresh your body and calm the mind. So if you don't have time, if you're feeling anxious, give yourself at least six slow breaths. If you have time to do five minutes or 10 minutes or 20 minutes or longer, great. But whenever you feel that you're not really there, you really need rejuvenation, take six slow breaths and that will help you. And hopefully you feel a little more relaxed and aligned and we're going to work on the new movement of today um, and I'll teach it standing. So I think our last movements, we did right, turn around, slide left, right, and left. Does that seem right where we were before? No? Okay, somebody has to speak up. Where are we then? <laughs> Uh, this is Linda, that's right. I'm now we're ready to turn. Okay, what we're gonna do right now. So I have one arm, elbows bent this way, palm it up and the other arm this way. We're gonna turn from your waist to the side, to your left and comes back center. So you're just gonna turn the waist and then your right head goo comes to the third eye. Your left head goo goes down, so Hegu is facing your tail. And let's close for a moment. So I'm gonna give you a back view. We just did this. We're gonna to turn to the left, right Hegu comes to the third eye, bend the left elbow up. Your left Hegu faces your tail and you're looking over your left shoulder and it's a twist. Now this actually we do, if you have balance, you're gonna hug the inner thighs and lift the heels quarter of an inch. And then we're gonna turn the left palm forward as you fall on the right foot, left hands up to the third eye. And close. So what we're doing here, we, we did, I know face this way, my right hand goes out to the, all the way behind me, turn forward, my head touches the kidney, slide the left foot and the hand out, look all the way behind, palm up, head touches shin shoot, step forward, right hand, right foot, look behind, look forward, palm up, and left, toe and hand. Then as I turn to the side, like you were here, and give you a back view, I put the weight in the middle, I turn from the waist, right hand to the third eye, left hand to the tail. Um, I'm on the ball of the foot if you're able to, looking over the left shoulder. Then I come down with the thumb on the right foot, and left hand comes up to the third eye. Like I'm gonna hit myself, oh my God, what did I do, but don't hit. And then we close. Those are our new movements for today. And I don't have the book in front of me, so I can't remember exactly what they're called, but I think it's number 23 and 24 in your blue book. So um, I'm gonna walk you through, well, let's just do that one more time. This sliding the right hand foot to the right, the four, this is weaving hand like clouds, left hand all the way behind, the core come up, right hand and foot forward, look behind, come up, then as left hand forward, I'm going to give you a back view, 
Bring the weight centered. If you're able to hug the inner thighs, come up. Good. If not, stay low. As I turn from the waist, my right hand comes up to the third eye. My left elbow bends the thumb. The head goes, catches the face the kidney. I'm going to fall upon my right foot. Right hand comes down. The left hand comes up to the third eye. And close. So um, that's the new movement. And I'm going to walk through the first part to that point, And then we'll go through the whole form. So standing in grace, hug his smile, your laogan open. As we give chi from laogan all the way down. Gather the chi up towards the heaven, bend the knees, lift the heels if you're able. Lower the heels as we close the chi to the lower dantian. Then the fingers drop as you come up, send the chi forward, look at it, and then Barely bend as you come forward. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Turn the palms to the side as you come upright. Hands go behind you, creating that claw into the kidneys, and we release toxic energy out. And again, hands to the heart. Look between the palms. Fingers are up and out. Activate the core. Barely bend. Then turn the palms as you come upright. Shoulder blades kiss. Hands go behind you, create a claw. Head go touch a shen shu. Um, hug the inner thighs to come up and then release that energy out. Then we lift the chi under the chin, wash face energetically up to the crown, open the elbows and interlace, giving more blood chi to the brain. Turning the palms over, we lift up, 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 and then fold and we go center. Hands lift up to the outside of the left foot, push down. You can barely bend here. Lift up and to the right side, push down. Don't go all the way down so you can see me. And come center. And then we're going to push the chi out, create our umbrella. Bend on the right knee, weight on the right foot as you pivot on the ball, the left foot, right hand under left elbow. Rock forward from the elbow past the fingertips. Rock back on the right foot from the elbow past the fingertips and create your claw on the left hand above Schweppe and above the collar. Right hand faces the left foot, right foot. And as we come up, the right knee is bent. I'm looking at the right palm, since she to the left foot, but I'm going to bring it to my knee. And flap the wings three times. Push forefoot three times. Put the left foot down. As I push the right hand out, I pivot on the left ball of the foot, so the heel goes out. Push one foot far, turn the hand back, and I'm going to scoop up new chi with the right hand, create the claw above the collar, weapon, bend the left knee. Left hand gives chi to the right foot, left foot to the side, drop the elbow, shoulder down. There's a light in the left hand, shiny upon the foot, but I'm going to bring it to the knee. My left knee's bent, and I come to the right knee and flap the wings, push forefoot three times. Pivot on the left heel, toe forward. The left hand pushes out, one foot far, comes back center. As they scoop up good chi with the left hand, the right hand comes down the center to the belly, and you give chi to the heart three times. Once, twice. On the third time, I step into the left foot as my right hand and foot come forward. No weight on that baby toe. Look all the way behind you. Look forward, palm up. My head who touches my shin shi. Weight on the right foot, left foot sends out, waist top. Look all the way behind you, look forward, palm up, head to touch your shin, you pivot the heel, transfer the weight. Right hand and foot go forward, go all the way behind, look forward, palm up, head to touch your shin, you pivot the heel, transfer the weight. Left foot forward, out to the side, and I'll give you the back view. As you come weight in the middle, turn to the waist, right hand up to the third eye. Left head go at the tail, turn the left palm forward and come down on the right foot with the left hand up to the third eye, like, oh my God, we don't touch, don't hit, and close. Okay, um, this would be the time if you have any questions to ask. We'll repeat this week after week. I know it's a little weird to do to learn some of these new movements on Zoom. Um, 
Unless if you speak up now, we're going to then do the form. Nobody's speaking up, so we're gonna do the form. I'm gonna drink something and then we'll get started. We'll go from the beginning to the end.
Have a good weekend and hopefully we'll see you next week. If anybody wants to say anything, now's your chance. Oh, let me turn off the recording first. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.